The region now bracing for the Israeli response to that deadly rocket attack in the Golan Heights. Earlier today, we spoke with one family who lost a little 11-year-old girl. <laughs> the cousin of 11-year-old Alma Fakir Eldin weeps as she clutches her photo. It's all that she has left of the young Druze child, one of 12 people killed in Saturday's Hezbollah rocket attack. At their family home, Alma's father stands in her bright pink room. This was her schoolwork. This is uh, cost and uh, German. Eliminate Hezbollah. That's it. That's what I want. I'm in Fakir al-Din says. What do, what do you remember about her most? When she was alive or when I had to collect the pieces of her, he responds. With a population of just 11,000 people, the trauma of this attack affected every resident of Masht al-Shams a Druze community in the Golan Heights that held a large funeral today for the dead. The grief that Majd al-Shams is experiencing collectively right now is unimaginable. There are 12 young members of their community being buried in the aftermath of this horrific Hezbollah rocket attack. At the scene of the attack, teams are still going inch by inch, searching for any remains of those killed. Between the shrapnel, bikes and scooters, a crater marks the site of the massacre. The wounded and the dead were children wearing sports gear. This first responder says it's a disaster. The Israeli cabinet met tonight to determine what the response will be to this deadly attack. Israeli security officials tell Fox News it is not a question of if Israel will respond, but rather when and where. In Majd al-Shams, Trey Yingst, Fox News.